coming up next on the Jeff Crilly Show. She came to America eight years ago knowing only four words of English and with $50 in her pocket, she built an empire. In fact, several of them sold them and now she's teaching all she knows to the next generation. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, I know a lot of Americans who are born here and they're complainers. They say, well, if only we had a different president, if only we had a different economy, if only. And sometimes it takes a, a real entrepreneur and some in inspirational uh, person to come into your life to change the way you think. And my next guest is going to do just that, Taya Manhattan. She's a mindset and business coach. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much for hosting me. Absolutely. Well, let's start at the very beginning. So you're from Ukraine. Yes. And you were kind of a very successful woman in a man's world in Ukraine. Yes. I always around men. I like work with gentlemen and um, all my life around only males, mostly the time. And so, uh, you were doing a lot of work for the government? Yes. I work five years for government. I work for private people. But mostly my life, I work for government in Ukraine. Okay, then uh, you met a boy. <laughs> yes, I was introduced. <laughs> How many stories begin, and then you met a man. <laughs> so you moved to America. And, yes. And this is the part that really strikes me. You knew four words of English. Yes, when I moved for, uh, eight years ago to the United States, I know only four words. It was like, hi, mom, dog, bye. And it's my <laughs> best Well, that's what, the, what, what more do you need? <laughs> it's it. Everything that I need, I have a Google Translate. <laughs> okay. so, so then uh, getting started in America, you got into real estate? Yes. Yeah, so I understand that like, it's the best country in the world and have a lot of opportunities. So when I landed two months later, I went for real estate class. First day I understand good morning, three days later I understand goodbye. But everybody was so jumping and excited. And I'm like, okay, two months later after this event, I opened a real estate company. And my goal was be super successful and go for a time and perform 35. So I started to run a real estate company. Well, I want to pause for a second and, and talk about your inspiration because you were telling me earlier, your mom, your grandma, you come from a, a long line of just fierce women. Yes, my mom, uh, boss for 47 years in the company and my grandma she was uh, also worked for the government so all female side of our family just like ambition a lot of energy just fire let's go I love that and she's uh, she's kind of a serial entrepreneur she keeps creating different companies but one of her most profitable com companies was a real estate company we all know about flipping houses you were flipping land let's go ahead and show some video from our video library so you would uh, research different properties and you would buy them Tell us yes how, how it worked so for. I find that land it's a perfect niche because um, no houses, no headache, uh, no competition, and you can work online, remote, and you can hire people, work for you also online. So I work with 19 states flipping vacant land, and I can build your dream house or dream property, anything what you want. So we just like new page in your life and I create a dream for you. Well, and I can tell the way your eyes light up. You love what you do. Uh, they always say if you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Yes. But you, you too reached a point of burnout. Yes, because I run three businesses and I need to make my own mistakes, how to delegate, how to manage and uh, how to grow when you grow so fast like what i did for seven years for business same time of course you will burn out if you don't know how to manage this and you you sold those three companies uh, very successfully and now you're teaching that to others talk about your coaching and mindset business so when i sold my business last year i did my goal i go for a time and when i was 33 
And I sit home for three days and after like, I just cannot sit home because I, I work for private people, I was employee, I work for government, right now I run my business. And I understand people needs and I give her, I want to help others and I just cannot deserve hiding this talent when people need. So my decision was a lot of people need help and I can provide this help and make people life better. So I make decision, I want to have a business and life coach and provide my service. And if I can help you, support or refer to you, it will be the biggest compliment for me. So we've got some coaching video from our library. We're gonna roll that, but I wanna talk about, you know, Dallas is kind of the land of all coaches. You, you, you can't throw a rock and not hit a coach. But your defining difference is you've actually done it. It's yes. not like you read books about things. Yeah. You, you built three businesses and sold three businesses. Yeah. Um, talk about the kinds of clients you want to attract into your life. So first client, it's a business owner who already know what they want. They are already ambition and they reach a goal and they a little bit lost. So have to have a next step in your life and grow and reach still the goal and not burn out. It's my first client. And second one is a college kid or students because they have a lot of social pressure or expectation from the parents and they lost. So nobody educate them or guide them and they're like, what I need to do? So it's, if I put my seeds and my heart and my practice, what I go through to the kids, they will save 10 years of their life, be desperate yes. and be successful much faster. Well, sometimes people can learn uh, from the failures. What's, as you look at your career, is, were there any missteps? Were there any uh, things that you did that you would never do again? I will do everything again because it's how I'm stronger, smarter, and faster. So I will do the same mistake again. I love it. I never regret about anything. I just love what I did and have some type of purpose in my life. So God never gave me something that I cannot go through. That's beautiful. And um, we're in the land of opportunity. I mean, I, of course, uh, the, America is the land of opportunity, but Dallas specifically. Yeah. I mean, this is one of the hottest communities in the whole country. Uh, I think some 200,000 people move here every yeah. single year. Talk about what, what it is about Dallas that you love. I love everything. I love community, uh, how people friendly, have a very nice heart and they open for everything and it's a lot of opportunity. People who want to grow here, it's just like the best place in the world. Outstanding. Okay, in the little time we have left, I want you to look right into the camera and talk to the person who may need to uh, bring you into their life. What, what do you want to say to that person? Um, I'm just grateful for everybody that around me. Um, and I think the biggest gift that I have right now in my life, it's a Bill Wallace. It's my mentor, my friend, and the best gift that God gave it to me right now. Uh, Bill Wallace, very famous person in Dallas-Fort Worth. He's the founder of Success North Dallas. It's celebrating 35 years. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. What a great mentor. Um, okay, we're going to end with your Instagram page and feel free to reach out to uh, Taya anytime you want and, uh, and follow her, her ballooning career. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.